That's the way to put a splice up in a paper mill on your braided rope. Take the rope, about an inch, inch and a quarter, up the tape, or up the rope, and wrap the tape around the rope, pulling it tight, and kind of bringing it out to a little cone. You have a little cone there. Insert, insert to fit up into the tape into the rope. Put a little bit of pressure on both sides so it has a tendency to pull the rope down inside the fit. When you get up there close, you can take and use your finger to kind of make a smooth transition from fit to rope and kind of suck it up in there. And it's got a hold of it pretty good there. And you get your other end. The other end of the rope, insert to fit into that, into an opening right there, push the fit down through the rope, pop that up over the tape. Once it's inside, you can go basically forever if you want. I usually like to go about two lengths of the fit, two and a half lengths of the fit. Pull that out. That's one half of the splice is done. Take the fit out. Get your other end of your rope and kind of repeat the process. Take the end of the rope, tape over the rope. Hold it tight as you work your way out toward the end of the rope. As you have to make the little cone at the end, come back up the rope a little bit so you have this nice little taper there. Insert the fit into the rope. Apply a little bit of pressure on both sides so it'll pull it down into the rope. See the rope's coming into the fed. Kind of use your thumb to tuck it in. Take your other end of the rope. Find the opening. Stick it in that opening. Shove it down through the rope, about two and a half lengths. Pull it out. And basically, you have your rope spliced up. Your rope is spliced up. Remove the fit. Again, find the ends of the rope, that's that way, the rope's going to be going that way, the rope's going that way, so that makes this the leading edge, so find out right there where you're at, not much rope sticking out, so that's going to be the end of your taper and everything in there, so you pull the rope back down, leave that hanging out, cut your rope off, you don't need that part, and then just start and taper this rope. Pull strands out just so you're going to make sure that it's tapered. So it'll give a nice smooth edge to go through the machine.
take your rope, just pull it up, suck that right up inside the rope. So again, that's the leading edge. So as it's going through, you have a small taper there. Comes down on this end here, you do the same thing. Find the end of your rope, pull it back, cut that end off. I don't normally taper the trailing edge because it's following. It's just going to follow where the other end goes. You pull it apart, and move your splice, measure your spinach rope, and go start up.